Another new feature in IMS Map 360 1.3.1 is support for Bing Maps. Execute the command using the Bing Maps button. Choose the Bing Map uh, source that you want to insert. In my example here, I'm going to insert an aerial image. I'm going to define the image position using a street address. I'm going to put it on a layer called imagery. And then I'm going to preview the image. Now this scene uh, that we're looking at here was measured with evidence recorder and a robotic total station and we had assumed local coordinates at the scene. The imagery by default will want to insert in real world coordinates but you have the option of inserting manually for local coordinates using this checkbox and when you do that you can place the image in whatever coordinate system you wish. Now because we had assumed a coordinate system here, you're going to see that the total station data does not align with the imagery. But the imagery is inserted to scale. So all I need to do is just find some common points in the image, with points in uh, my scene, and we'll have IMS Map 360 automatically uh, position the image for us. So we're going to use this command here called Quick Align. We're going to select our image. And then I'm going to specify a source point in, in my image, which I know is roughly right here. And that's equal to this point here. And then we have another source right about there. It's equal to this location here. And, and what's happened now is the image has been moved into location based on those reference points I, I uh, selected and defined. Now the, the total station data is going to be the most accurate. The, Im the imagery is not as accurate as actually uh, you know measurements you're going to capture with a laser scanner or a total station or even with a tape measure for that uh, uh, for that matter. If you uh, if you need, you can use the imagery as a backdrop, just to add some context to your scene. Your imagery appears in your title blocks, as you can see here. And you can trace on top of the imagery if you need to. So any of the CAD commands can be used directly on top of the image. You can insert symbols, and perhaps we're going to insert a car here. So you can use the image as a backdrop. The image, uh, the, the Bing Maps, it does download an image, so you can file that image away with your drawing. And when you save the drawing and open it up again, the image will automatically load for you.